You just tuned into the Heel in the Face live wrestling show here every Wednesday hey, night on Spreaker. Hey, hey, da- hey, you forgot to introduce me, the smooth voice Sith, Ryan I'm, Perry. I'm, I'm, and you forgot to mention that they can follow us on Twitter I'm, at Heel and Face. Duh. I was going to get to that, but I didn't get hey, a chance. Hey, shut up. Excuse shut me. Shut up. How rude I'm is tired of hearing you, you two people argue. Really? We have a show to do. We're, We're getting there. It's Wednesday arguing. night. We it's were talking. time for the Heel in the Face Live Wrestling Show. We'll open up a great Somebody show. get Lenata Dina rubber Christ. chicken wow. and let's get this to it. nuts. Worship the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Heel in the Face Radio Show. Now, get ready to get kicked square on the And welcome to another fabulous week yeah, where Tommy go. sees regurgitates the same crap over and over again. Oh, come on now. Really? No, fakely. Oh, come on. Yo, did you watch the Super Bowl? I um, did watch the Super Bowl. I thought it was quite interesting. What about? What do you think about halftime? What about it? Oh, you know what? Yeah, your favorite. We, we're going to save that <laughs> because the smooth boy Sith is currently on his way. He had, to do some, he had to do some stuff, and he'll be running a little late. But he did, wanna, he did relay to me that he wanted to talk to you about that. Yeah, I know. I know, but that's all right. Whatever. What did we'll you think of the on. commercials? I thought the commercials I, sucked. I thought some of they were well made, but as well funny, made no. And funny, the only, no. The, the only good one was the Transformers one. Yeah, that's it, man. And the, and people are saying the Cheerios one. Come on, that that's, Dino Box. Yeah. Oh no, the Full House one was kind of funny too. You know, honestly, I wasn't happy with it at all this year. I would honestly look at like two years ago was good. You know, but now they suck. What are the what is what are the Seattle Seahawks and Sean have in common? I don't know, man. What they're both champions of the year. <laughs> it's still going that way, huh, man? It's all good. <laughs> all right. Well, that's okay. But uh Well, we got a ton of stuff to talk about. Yeah, we do, man. A lot of stuff going on here and there through the indie scene and you know, mainstream. And other stuff happening. We got signings and yeah, and, signings uh, and statements. Stronghold and info, SWA info, ECPW info. You <laughs> we name got it. ECPW info? Yes, we do. What? Yes, we do. Coming it's been up. a while since we heard anything from them. Yep. You're going to be quite excited. Trust me. Am I? Oh, yeah. How excited is excited? Uh, let's just say two shows and one deal. What? Think about it. Get in. Get into it. Hook onto it, my friend. Let's go. Okay, I got some more on that later. <laughs> yep, definitely. Because uh, I, uh, all right. I, w- I was gonna tell you, but you know, I spoke with the uh, ECPW owner himself, Gino Caruso, and uh, you know, he uh, helps us out with uh, Stronghold, and he turned around and said to me that. He wants to bring ECPW back to Long Island. It's about time, isn't it? So what we're going to do in April is do an ECPW slash Stronghold show together. Back-to-back show. Where? Back-to-back? Yes. Where? Not sure yet. Like, what do you mean back-to-back? Well, we're going to have one show open up for the other show. You know, we're going to do like... uh, (laughs) Five matches for one show and five matches for the other company. Both companies are going to have five matches. And then what's going to be interesting is we're going to do a company versus company battle royale. Okay. I'm I'm very interested. What will happen is we decided on that is we're going to try, hopefully, but it, it could baffle up, who knows, have one winner from each company. And each of those winners are going to go against each other in a main event at the next Stronghold show. And then... And then... Whoever wins out of that match will be announced Stronghold champion. Wow. Wow. All right, I'm a little more than vaguely interested. Yeah, well, they're the champ. It's it's <laughs> not not that they're getting the belt, it's that they're on their way to become the, 
you know, they're basically a number one contender. So it's going to be quite interesting. We were going over it, and, uh, the, you know, it's, it's going to be good. It's going to be like a tournament-type uh, thing. But that ECPW is going to be involved on Long Island. And also you'll be get, getting to see Andrew Anderson coming around. You'll see Frankie Flo again, uh, the Peacemaker, all of them, Merengue Warrior. So, and you'll see Long Island's own and favorite, Len Oddity. So, yeah, it's going to be fun. Oddity. It's going to be really fun. Trust me. And you'll even see some of our regulars, you know, Zach Vengeance, Mason Shadows, uh, Lucas Sane, Cash, you know, Lexa Rose, Susios. So, it'll be good. And you'll see the Beltari, too. Who are they? Bell Terry, check them out on Facebook. They don't sparkle, do they? No, they don't. No, it's not like Twilight. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's none of that stuff, man. But, uh, you know, we're going to have a lot of different interesting guys coming through, new and old. And uh, also we're going to have some top stars from TNA coming in. So it's going to be quite interesting. We, all right. All right. But we're, we're going to have some cool stuff going on with ECPW What else is going on? Um, as well, far as Stronghold's concerned. Well, we might as well go that direction. We're, we're you know. already headed there. Yeah. Well, uh, come February 16th, uh, AJ Styles uh, is coming to town, man. He's t the phenomenal one. AJ Styles on Long Island. He's going to be doing an autograph signing at the Plainview Holiday Inn from 12 to 2 p.m courtesy of uh, Stronghold Pro Wrestling and uh, the heel in the face, and it's going to be quite an event, let me tell you. We're involved in that, too? Yes, we are. How are we involved in that? Because we've got an exclusive interview with the phenomenal one, AJ Styles. Exclusive interview? That means yes, I get do. to ask the tough Jim Ross questions? Yes, we do. Well, you do. Is I, he I've ready for work. that? Is he, he ready he, for me? You know what? He probably is. because. Okay. He, can he handle me? He can handle you. He's the phenomenal one. He's AJ Styles. I don't know. Come on. He was wanted by the WWE, and TNA swiped him up. Are you kidding me? Come on. He gets advice from, from when Hulk Hogan was back around before he came to TNA. And right now he even gets advice from Triple H, too, today. I don't know if he can handle the tough questions. What? I think he can. I think he can really uh, answer them and probably like startle the shit out of you. No, trust I'm, me. I'm coming. <laughs> I don't know, man, but he, he's he's quite a guy, and he's ready. So February 16th, TNA star, phenomenal one, AJ Styles will be at uh, Plainview Holiday Inn, uh, 215 Sunnyside Boulevard, Plainview, from uh, 12 to 2 p.m. You know what's going to make the interview fun? Go for it. Is if you, if you tweet directly at Heel and Face... And use the hashtag Stronghold Pro Wrestling. <clears throat> You're going to be able to ask your question. And we're going to ask it to AJ Styles. Oh, that's so... Well, that's, yeah, that's awesome. Because if you don't get a chance to get down there and get your You're photo op... You because you know what we're going to even do? This, the interview is going to go on while we're doing the autograph signing. So AJ is going to sign autographs and stuff like that. He can't be signing autographs well, while I interview Well, him. we're going to do it a half an hour into it and a half an hour before. So it is that the fans do get involved. The fans get involved. Fans can walk up because we have... Oh, we're going to have questions from the line? Yes. We're going to have questions awesome. from the line. Have the people turn around and say, AJ, you know, blah, 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 you know, whatever. And... AJ is going to be right there on the air, sign his autograph for you, and he'll answer your question. And Sean could interact with it too, you know. So there you go, man. That's cool. We're going to have wireless mics. So we're going to be able to go to the line and. Um, no, as they come up, as they come up, you know, they could do it. They could ask them and stuff like that. No, we should bust out the wireless mics for that. I guess we might have to. We yeah. should, because we'll take questions from people in the line while we're waiting. Yeah, might as well, well then. Somebody hold their place in line, and then we can go. And then they can go and come up and ask that question. That'll be yeah. really cool. We'll have yeah. line placeholders. Yeah. And look, you've got a function. Yes, we do. <laughs> but you know what? You're going to have to give up your uh, Steven Tyler mic stand for the night, for the day there. I am. 
You know, yeah, because what am I gonna do with this bandana hanging from it? They Shit. they they're gonna need to use that. We're gonna put the mic stand there with the cordless mic. Or we can put a mic stand there with a wired mic. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, either way. But your mic stand is gonna be uh, occupied by fans. Yeah, that'll be cool. You know, and uh, the phenomenal one will be getting a uh, table mic stand, and uh, he'll answer any of the questions that you have. And I I guarantee he's ready. And if for some reason you can't make it. Tweet it, at face, hashtag Stronghold Pro Wrestling. Yep, because he's, uh, trust me, he's ready for any questions. Because I've got questions upon questions. Well, you know what? I spoke with him a couple of days ago, and he's he's actually very excited about the whole uh, event. And uh, he's even, he even talked to me and uh, said that he would be interested even just doing a, 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 an appearance in ring for uh, Stronghold. So uh, we're going to be talking to AJ about that in the future of doing something f- with us. And uh, we appreciate that he will to give his Long Island fans and indie fans that don't get a chance to see him up close and personal, you know, so right there. What date can they find AJ Styles on Long Island? Uh, it's uh, February 16th, the phenomenal one, and AJ where Styles. where can they find this person? He'll be at the Plainview Holiday Inn, 215 Sunnyside Boulevard, Plainview, New York. And what time is this lovely event taking it's place? It's going to start at 12 to 2. Um, doors open up, actually, at 11 o'clock because, ladies and gentlemen, we are sponsoring AJ to be there, and so is Elon Face. And uh, just along with it, a good friend of mine who does one of the biggest card sports collectible shows is having his show and invited us in to bring AJ down to you on Long Island. So come on down, check out the collectibles that they have there and everything. You know, it's going to be a great event. You know, you, you can't go wrong. If you're a baseball freak or whatever, wrestling. It's all there. I hope they have some fine demolition figures. I don't even know they I'm have. I'm missing them out of my collection. I, I'm sorry. I played with them. I didn't mean to do that. I, I took them. I, I had to. I like them. Tommy, nobody wants to know that you're still playing with action, action figures. Shh, they're not action figures. They're wrestling figures. They're dolls. No, they're not dolls. They, dolls. They're fun to play with. Come on now. But anyway, I got them. That's a little yeah. creepy. You want them back? I got them. They're in my closet no, 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 somewhere. No, no, no. You probably took them out of the package already, wrecked yeah, the whole thing. They're in know. my closet somewhere. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm fine. All right. Keep them off. Spy more. I'll take pictures for you. No, you won't. <laughs> but, you know. Lord knows where Axe and Smash have been. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but do come down, ladies and gentlemen, February 5th. 16th, bring the little ones down to meet the phenomenal one. AJ Styles photo ops are available, promos are available, and we have exclusive posters that will be available, and also uh, some other merchandise that uh, I was also told about. Which he's AJ is bringing stuff down too, so I don't even know. He might be bringing t shirts, that would be cool. I want a t shirt, but you know, get down there February 16th, AJ Styles. At the Holiday Inn. I want to pair those snazzy gloves he's got. Uh, go, go to Models or something. They have them. <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> they look like that, man. Batting gloves. Are they? What are they? I don't know. I, never, I know. I've seen them. but his hands a certain way. It, it, you know, it's his logo. Oh. Uh, you know, like the NFL has. Now. Yep. I know they have New York Jets ones, Giants. And your favorite, the Seahawks. Yeah. Let's go back to football for a second. Because <laughs> we're done with all the stronghold stuff. I have to ask this question. And you as fans, you fans, if you're listening, call the fan line if you want to argue for or against this point. 631-386-8229. That's 631-386-8229. <laughs> there have been a lot of quote-unquote bogus reports on Facebook. And I have to ask you what you think. Was the Super Bowl rigged? Was the Super Bowl rigged? Was the Super Bowl rigged? How? Did Peyton Manning throw the game? I think he did. Why do you think he did? Because, honestly, I like Eli, and I like Peyton. Eli sucked this year, and I thought Eli was on the field. End of story. Wow. And I think, honestly, Peyton could have brought the game... Not to the score that it was even. Even if they did lose, 
which they did, but you know, it, there would have been a score. It, it's it was terrible. It just seemed funny, like even from the opening, even from the opening drive, like the whole game was just messed up. Yeah, yeah. That's why I say honestly, I I, I don't say that it was a hundred percent rigged, but it's like it seemed like he didn't want to be there. He had his mind somewhere else. Now, I'm not starting any conspiracy theories or nothing, but it, it, it looked a lot funny. Mm-hmm. He was thinking about being in the Bahamas or something, away from this cold and all that crap. And Maybe he planned his Disney trip early. I, it probably did. Right after the Super Bowl, he's on the next plane out of here. Wonder if he was, wonder if he was in the same hotel Wilson was in. <laughs> probably. <laughs> I don't know, but let me tell you. I wish that the Denver Broncos won. I'm not a Seattle Mariners fan, Seattle fan. I mean, at all, because I think they suck. You're not what? a Mariner fan. I mean, Seahawks in a game of football. Shut up, man! Don't you know that Wayne Gretzky is the best player on the team? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> My he, mind is all. And he scores like a hundred slam dunks a day. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> you're a freak. You're you're a banana. All right. My whole thing is, I only give Seahawks one thing. It's their first Super Bowl win. Congratulations, whoopie do your last one ever. <laughs> it's not going to be their last one ever. That team played phenomenally. Yeah, they played great because Eli and the team were giving them the game. That's why. I think it was all rigged, but you know what? Whatever. Honestly, I prefer, you know, I, I would rather see the halftime show with Red Hot Chili Peppers. With their guitars and, not plugged in? Yeah, I know, right? And, and meanwhile, you have some guy that calls himself Bruno Mars, who should be no, sent we, off we to Mars. we can't talk about this right now. We can't. We can't. I promised Sith that we well, wouldn't talk about the halftime show until he, came, until he got here. All right. We'll be nice. We won't need a little late. Running a little late. He's about a half an hour late, man. So let's talk about some mainstream stuff. Well, because apparently we're going to start doing that now. Yeah. Well, you know what? My, my one thing, and I see <laughs> that you do have it written down, and it was in my head. Is the CM Punk situation? Well, what are we on week two or three now? Two. That CM two, Punk has two, been like no one found three, in WWE. Yeah. yeah, but you know what? I think and, and and everybody knows. Everybody's seen it on Facebook, on Twitter. Is it a work or is it for real? Um, work real. Honestly, I think it's a work because that's like telling Triple H you're fired. Will that ever happen? No. You know what the funny thing is about WWE? Everybody is expendable. Oh, yeah. From the world champion right down to Santino Morallo, expendable. Even the owner is. You kidding me? Uh, no, I don't think Vince McMahon is expendable. <laughs> Since he's the one who does the expending. Well, you know what? Honestly, I think it's a work. I'll tell you straight out. It has to be because there's no rhyme or reason to why you would let your your number one talent walk out the door and not try to get him back. Of any shape, way, reason, you know, try to figure that out, you know? I can figure it out. That's why I'm saying it's a work. It has to be. We don't do the WWE, though. No, I'm not a big WWE fan. And about time he pulls up, you know. But I, I'm, a, I'm honestly a big TNA fan. I like TNA more than WWE. I think WWE is a waste of a company for the past five, six years. Because <clears throat> I just do. Their storylines are boring. But, uh. Uh, all right. Well, oh, he well, is here. here. Here's the Sith has arrived. So let's take a quick break know, and get uh, him acclimated time, as man. to what's going on and what's been going yeah. on. And uh, we'll be right back. What did I miss? Yeah, we'll be right we'll, back. We'll cover that in a second. Hold monitor, yep. take us out.
And uh, the Sith is here. What's going on, brother? What's up? What's oh, up? What's man. up? What's up, Sean? Did you miss me? Yeah, he, he said it. He was over there crying He's in the crying. corner. Yeah, I'm here to hold your hand again. He was. All right, was. you caught me up on things, though. Yeah. So. We, we left off with uh, the CM Punk situation. I know. We're dragging it. Three oh, weeks. Big thing in wrestling right now. You know. Big what do thing. you think? Do you Good. think it's a work or what? Uh, People out there know. <laughs> they're not stupid. Uh, yeah, I couldn't tell you. I mean, I wouldn't shock me if it was a work, but, you know, I'm going to assume it's real. Yeah. I don't know. It that that's like telling Triple H, you know, that he's leaving or he's fired or whatever. You know, that that I don't see happening. And CM Punk right now is was to me, I don't care, Batista, blah blah blah. 
CM Punk is one of the hottest commodities. It's a work. Yeah, definitely. It's got to be. It is. I well, think so. I'm, I don't know about that, but... Yeah, you know, if it is, it's a, it's a well orchestrated work, but <laughs> it's a poorly orchestrated work for television. It's a great work for the indie scene and and you know the internet wrestling community, right? Oh yeah. But it's a terrible work for TV because it's like they haven't even mentioned it. Yeah, definitely. You know, at all. So what? What's the payoff? Let's go you indie. Know? The payoff is all of a sudden <laughs> out of nowhere he comes back and does something at me. Yeah. So I mean yeah. that can happen even if it's not a work. Yeah, if, you know. So yeah. I mean, there's not, you know, if it's a work, then it's not really a work. You know, like it's weird. It's it's, you know, that's why I think it's him really saying, you know, screw this, I'm going home. You know, and good know. for that man. Good for that man. You know? I don't know. I I don't, I don't know. I think Look. it's a work right down the line because it's just very well or well, his organized, contract's up in July know? anyway, yeah. right? So yeah. it makes sense if it's not a work because that would be twice that they did this. If you go back to the original, you know, Summer of Punk 2, you know, in WWE's mind, it's just Summer of Punk. (laughs) But Summer of Punk 2, it'd be the second time you did this again. And it's like, all right, you know. (laughs) Right, it's just, I don't know, it's just just, just stupid in the sense that, you know, there's no payoff, you know, television-wise, you know, that's any different than if it was a work or if it was real. The payoff still winds up the same. He pops up again at some point if he does. And then I guess we'll find out soon, though, right? I guess we will. Well, you know what? Because we if would... it's a work, it's a work for WrestleMania. Oh, yeah. So. And it's a plus for us in the indie scene. Yeah. Why you is know? it a plus for us on the indie Because scene? everybody in the indie scene loves CM Punk, and it, it's stirring up a lot of uh, yeah, storylines, gonna... controversy, if, if it's, everything. If it's, if it's real, though, I doubt he's coming back to the indies. Yeah. So I think put that in your podcast. I, I think he's just done if it's real. Like, I'm done. Well, we'll find out and see. It's got to be tough, though, man. I mean, he's a guy who doesn't, you know, take any, you know, drugs of any sort. So no painkillers, none of that shit. Right? Right? Oh, does a yeah, to- totally different work on your body than if you, you know, even if you drink, you know? True. Yep. But uh, we were also going through the... Uh, Fiasco of Sunday night, man. Super Bowl, forty-eight. You know, and uh, we were talking well, was it about a fiasco. It was just a I think, slaughter. It wasn't yeah. really a fiasco. It was just to me, it was my Seahawks yeah. one, not my Seahawks. You're a Seahawks. You like I'm a Seahawks. Giants fan, but I'm a Giants fan. I, too, but when the playoffs but... started, and all my best friends neglect to uh, to mention this, I called the Seahawks from the beginning. I said, "Nah, that's the my team. my twelve-year-old son did the same damn no. thing, and he bet ten bucks and won a hundred. How do you like them apples? You, you should yeah. discourage your son from gambling. <laughs> Why? Why? Hey, if he can do it and makes money off of it, that's fine. Just pay the bill. Remember, I'm, I'm a libertarian over here, so <laughs> gambling is fine. That's it, man. Gambling is fine if you're 18. Why? Why? Why not? An 18-year-old is automatically, boom, maturity because I hit 18? Not Why is 18 listen. a magic number? Back listen, in the day, it wasn't. It was thirteen back in the day. Listen, we used to gam- like bet here and there, stuff and shit. When we were younger, guarantee we always have. And you're not gonna tell me. I won my eighteen. Box. <laughs> I won. I won seventy five bucks. Won a See, box. there you go. Second quarter box. Eighteen? No, don't say that. No, it's no, yeah. it's not. But all right. So <clears> go ahead. You were going to talk about the halftime what did, show. What did you think of that halftime show? It. Uh, oh, it was amazing. Even the, though the Red Hot Chili Peppers were, uh, where you going there? Were uh, faking it. Yeah, that was faking like Millie Vanilli. No, no, the lead singer he was yeah. actually singing, Anthony, yes. but all the other, uh, you know, performers in the band. I were, think the drummer really... was the only one that was really playing. No, no, everything with the Red Hot Chili Peppers was, was pre-recorded, other than the singer. Oh, that was terrible. Then yeah, I don't Bruno like Bruno Mars killed it. <laughs> I'm not a Bruno Mars fan. I, I didn't even know who the hell his first name was. Well, that's because I, I thought he was a candy bar. No, that's because you're just not... You're Vince McMahon. You're not connected <laughs> to what's popular nowadays, <laughs> which kills you. And then you said something about, like, he's, he should go back to Mars, yes. uh, implying that he's, like, what, talentless? Yes. Yeah, he's so talentless. Yes. Why is he talentless? I don't... I'm not into that music. I just don't be, like... So it. you're not... Because you don't like the music no. means he's talentless? Yes. Who's one of your favorite like, artists of all time? My favorite artist? Yeah, artist, not band. band, whatever. Uh, my favorite is Billy Joel. Oh my God, Billy Joel is the worst, bro. He's talentless. 
I hate Billy Joel. I like Billy Joel. Think about Elton this. Elton John. But, but think about this. Yeah. I hate Billy Joel. Why? Because right? he's talentless. Why is that? Because I don't like him. See, that's your argument yeah. against Bruno Mars, <laughs> which is the yeah. worst argument ever. <laughs> Billy Joel is an amazing talent. I just he's happen not to awesome. like his music. Yeah. I think his music is terrible. For me. I think he's phenomenal. I'm not going to knock his talent, though. The guy has and, talent, right? Right. But I, I know, just, I'm not knocking not my style of whatever. So by you implying that Bruno Mars, who's had five, five number one hit singles, right? But how many, is, how many has Billy Joel have? How, many, how long has Billy Joel been around? I know. For like 30 okay. years now. 40. So you but can't. Still. You, that's apples and oranges right, right now. All right. At some and, point, and, Billy Joel and, was Bruno Mars. Right. Oh, come on. He had one album. You, you, oh, my God. Right. right. Come on. And somebody, was sit- true. and somebody was sitting there. Well, Billy Joel. Billy Joel. Who's this Billy Joel guy? He's only popular on Long Island in New York. Mm-hmm. Who's this Billy Joel guy? He's not, he's, he's not like a, you know, a Paul McCartney. You know? And that was, you see what I'm saying? So that argument is irrelevant Paul as well. I'm a fan, too. You can't to compare those two and, until Bruno Mars has been around for 20 years, right? right. But then your argument <laughs> will be, oh, but Billy Joel's been around for 50. It's like, <laughs> well, get over yourself. You know what I'm saying? One guy's <laughs> old and one guy's young. At some point, you know, yeah. You know? It's a but bad I'm argument. Not, but Bruno Mars say, has had two suck. albums. Two albums. One was more of an EP than anything. You know, so really he's had like kind of just one album, right? And he's had five number one hits. Number one, like top of the charts, number one bench, Don't worry. Right? You're not the only one. I put that and, comment on and, Facebook. Everybody was there. And you're it. also neglecting the fact that how many songs has Billy Joel written for other people? Oh how, how many boatloads. Yeah? Can you name some songs off the top of your head? That, that No, not oh, that I know. Okay. Bruno Mars, before he was Bruno Mars, was signed to the record labels for about like five to six years, and all he did was make number one hits yeah, for other that's, people. That's, that's, talent. that's talent. I don't, I don't like his singing. I didn't that like doesn't his... doesn't matter. I didn't, his talent is good, but I don't like his voice. I don't like his style. Yeah, well, that's, that's, that's okay. You know, I think and I put Joel my is, opinion out there. I think Billy Joel is just a, a disgusting old man you know, whose He's voice awesome. annoys me. He's yeah. awesome. What about and Elton John then? I, I actually kind of I'm cool with Elton John. Elton yeah, John's sit the there shit, and, man. And rock out to Elton John, but you know, you know, I like other stuff. I like Metallica. I like stuff like that. You know, but of course yeah. you would. You're white trash. No, uh, <laughs> <laughs> come on now. Come on. You know, no. you realize that though, right? Hey, no. wait a second. I'm just saying. My you, favorite band is Guns N' Roses. What does that mean about me? Yeah, what does you're, you're about you're me? You Park look trash. like a Guns N' Roses <laughs> fan, and you look like a Metallica fan. Now, what if I were to turn to you and be like? Oh, the way I look, do I look? You look like Pitbull fan. Yeah, I don't really like Pitbull. I think he's an amazing talent, but I don't really like Pitbull. Um, but would you be like, oh my God, this guy's a DMX fan? Yeah. From the way I'm dressed. From the DMX, way I'm dressed. Pitbull. Pitbull. From the way I'm dressed wearing American Eagle to heads and toes, you're going to say, oh, he's a DMX fan? <laughs> Why would I say that? <laughs> you know, exactly. <laughs> you guys are like the, the walking billboards for the bands that you guys really enjoy. You just look like it. You know, me, on the other hand, I have a, a, a vast array of musical selection that I like to pick and choose from. <laughs> you believe this? We got a label right on us. And well, it's... I'm just saying. You are kind of a burnout. You know. <laughs> it's what? not going to shock anybody if you turned and said, oh, yeah, Metallica, they're one of my favorite bands. Nobody's going to sit there and be like, that's shocking. <laughs> yeah, you know, if you said, oh, I love Guns N' Roses, nobody's going to sit there, Sean, and be like, I can oh, shock that's shocking. the shit out of you, though. If I was like, yo... Yo, for real, I am a huge Alanis Morissette fan. You, you honestly, all right. Put all this music aside. Okay. My, I am a huge my, Alanis Morissette fan. Though. Put all this music Tommy aside. Tommy sings a mean, achy, breaky heart. My no, my true favorite of all music is Frank Sinatra. Why? That's actually a little bit shocking because you don't That's, look like the type of person I who would like love Frank Sinatra. Frank Sinatra. Why? His voice annoys me. Frank Sinatra. He didn't even write his own songs. What a right. talentless individual. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> all, he, all he did was kind of... But Frank Sinatra's yeah. the man. Frank Sinatra. Really? Summer wind. Come on, the Rat Pack, bro? What, are you kidding me? It, it came annoys blowing me. in. Come on, bro. It annoys me, it does. From you're, you're across nuts. the sea. No, what, what do you like? That, what? I know you like Guns N' Roses, yeah, but what would be the, go, what, go, to the, go inside of you and what, find what, what, is, what, what do you like. What's the term that they use for like... What's your soul it's about? Like a, something that's very <laughs> hidden about you. <laughs> That no, most What's people the don't dark know. side like, of you? Like, you know how like something that really annoys you is like a pet peeve? They call it yeah. a pet peeve. Like, what, there's a term that I can't think of off the top of my head right now. You know right what? Now. Let's go with this. What's your soul about? What's the... What, Whoa, what is it? What's my soul? What, what's you your soul of music? Soul. What's your soul of music, really? My what's the one music? thing? Yeah. Right here alive in the Healing Come Face on, wrestling man. show. We're talking about <laughs> yeah. music. Really? Yeah. Well, we wanted to branch out. Okay. Come on. 
Well, I'm a huge Guns N' Roses fan. Duh. No, let's you kick that like to it. the curb. I, what's you, the most shocking music yeah. that you like? The most shocking you can't say music Trill that TF. I listen to? You can't say Trill TF. I can't say I've seen your friends on Come Facebook on. were posting, like, really? Really now? Like, really? <laughs> no, no. Really? Because yeah. like, that probably what? shocked them. They were like, what? Why is he posting a hip-hop song? Yeah. Really? I like, uh, I like Johnny Lang. I listen to a lot of his stuff. Now you really put me up. I like feel. Mandy yeah. Moore. And you would. I love Mandy Moore. You look like a Mandy Moore I want to be with you, if only for tonight. No, no. See, there we go. Oh, oh, Hall oh, Monitor's got a secret. Hall huh? oh, Monitor has a secret. There. What do you got? What do you got? What do you, come what? on. I'm just going to say the song, Mandy. Oh, you like Barry Manilow, don't you? Oh, yeah. Oh, I man. like Barry Manilow. Barry Manilow fan. Oh, yeah. I, I, I like that. I like, okay. you know why, man? Because all the time everybody, oh, I'm the tough guy that likes this metal. You know what? And it's not always about that. It's about tattoos, where music comes skulls. from. And it's about where music comes from, okay. too. And that's where it does come from. Bruno Mars comes and from Hawaii. And Chubby Checker. That's right. You know, I like that. And like he's part stuff. Jewish. Did you know that? His father's half, no, well, not no. half Jewish. His father's Jewish. <laughs> I listen to country also. That's weird. All right. Yeah. Well, let's spin this. Let's <laughs> yeah. segue this, right? Yeah, let's do Who it. Who is, and you can only pick one, your favorite wrestler of all time, dead or alive, doesn't matter. Damn. Of all time, and then maybe we'll spin it to who's your favorite wrestler right now to watch. Ooh. At the current moment, doesn't have to be like even one of your favorites, just but currently who you who you're really into watching. Back in the day, of I would all time, all time. time, and he's not even alive. I would say his mind is Andre the Giant. Okay, Sean, that's a good one though. I don't think many people would say Andre, even though he was amazing. But I can't, I can't narrow it down to one person. And now you have to. This is why it's I tough. I can't. This is why it's tough. I can't because you see, trust I grew me, up, I know, man. I grew up I watching hate. two people, and I can't. Who are the two people? Sting and Mister Perfect. That's, that's two good choices, though. Yeah. To choose from. I can't. I can't narrow wow. it down to either one. I can't. Okay. I'm Owen Hart. That was my favorite wrestler of all time. I uh, yeah. I, I give you a good one on that. Owen was interesting. Owen was, oh, Owen was the reason. Yeah. I wanted to be a, a wrestler <laughs> because the my, whole '94 uh, like. I like I when was he 10. did the the uh, when he was back in the day and he did the uh, superhero one in all blue. Oh, the blue blazer. Yeah. The blue blazer. Yeah. Uh, can you start seeing why Ryan <laughs> yeah, and I, you know, over here yep. was a superhero gimmick at yep. one point? No, but seriously, I was ten years old and Owen did the heel turn where he. You know, and that's why I kicked your leg out of your leg. Yeah. Best promo ever. <laughs> yeah. uh, at the 94 Rumble, when he did the heel turn on Brett, I was like, why? I was like, I was shocked. I was 10. I was a little 10 year old Mark. And I was shocked. And that was the reason yep. I was like, I want to be a wrestler. And then I loved the whole King of Hearts gimmick. And then the whole when he transferred to the I'm not a nugget Owen. Like, he always <laughs> made me laugh. But not only did he make me laugh, he did it in such a way where I still believed he was such a good wrestler because what he did inside the ring was amazing. Yeah. Like, go back and watch an Owen Hart match. And seriously, just watch it and see the little tiny things that he does, these little intricacies that he does. It makes it such a different aspect, you know. But uh, currently, who is your favorite wrestler to watch? Wow, man. You could take it first, Sean. I'm, I, I gotta Sean, see. who didn't want to give a, a real answer on the first one? Only because, you know, like the, I, I oh. watched the two different products and... You know, like I, I've always been a Sting fan, but I've always been a Mr. Perfect fan since he came out. Since he came out on the right, scene. Well, right now, who's your favorite to watch? Right now, right now, even though he's misused and mistreated, I feel Randy Orton. Okay, is there a reason why Randy Orton? Because I think he's an amazing worker. I know a lot of the indie guys oh, they yeah, like they shit is. on him, especially backstage yeah. in the locker room. Yeah. But. It, they're shitting on him is because they can't do what he can do. I'll give you ten bucks. You put Randy Orton in front of them. It'll change. Oh, yeah. He's amazing. Not only is he amazing in ring, but he turns back and forth from heel and face so fluently. And he does it with class. Yep. yep he does that with class. Uh, I'll give you that it, one. It's like, it's like one moment he can be face, and then the next moment he can go heel, and you can't find the seam between mm-hmm. the two. Yeah. You know, yep. you can't say, oh, that's where he, you know, that, that's the bump in the road. You can't find that. When he does, when he goes back and forth. Oh, well, that's pretty good, Tommy. Who's your uh, favorite to watch right now? Right now, it's actually I'm I'm in a boat like Sean with the old, is um, is Big Show and uh, Rey Mysterio. That's two totally different contrasting yeah. styles. Be, it, well, that, that because 
as a promoter, you look at everything like that. Okay. You know, but I honestly, if I'm to really pick the bone, I would have to say Rey Mysterio. All right. All right. My favorite to watch. And at the what moment. about you? Uh, if, can I pick two, or do I have to pick one? Tommy got to pick two there. Go for it. Whatever man. you. Whatever you. Uh, one is a no-brainer. Uh, I really intently watch uh, Roman Reigns. I'm so. Roman Reigns wa- is another I'm good one. so interested in seeing like even this like every little thing he does. You know. Um, on the other hand, Bray Wyatt is my probably my top pick. To watch, like I can't <laughs> not miss a Bray Wyatt segment. Yeah, Husky Harris, okay. You know? But hey, Husky Stop Harris, saying that. Husky <laughs> Harris, whatever you want to call him, you know, uh, amazing. I, I, and I like him more so not because of what he does in the ring, uh, which I think is uh, you know still unique, um, because he is performing in one of the dying arts of pro wrestling on how to cut a goddamn promo. Mm-hmm. His promos yeah. are make me believe that this man. Thinks he's the fucking devil himself. Yeah, I think the whole Wyatt thing is very interesting. It's 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 interesting, you know. Yeah. But like, it was just just watch him and the way he paces something. That's this is my thing. Getting back to the indie wrestling a little bit, mm. man. I would say there's literally a handful of guys that I have been in a locker room with that know how to cut a really good promo. And it That's is true. It, yeah. Just like Ryan was going to say, even <clears throat> the pace of what he says. Is on point. Yeah, it is definitely is. So everybody should sit down and watch a. Yeah, I mean, I, granted, now I know somebody's writing the material for him, but you know, still, but you still gotta. It's just like stand up comedy. But you gotta somebody bring may it to write life. the material, but you still gotta deliver it. Yeah, you gotta bring it to life. Mm-hmm. Put your own twists on it. Um, and that's the other thing. Like, I hate people knocking creative writers. It's like, yo, you try to run a TV program for fifty-two straight weeks. It mm-hmm. is not easy. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's no off season. It's not like they get to, to be like, oh, here's our 15 episodes this season, and we'll be back in seven months with the second season. It's like, no. No, you have to keep writing and writing and yep. writing, and things happen. Like somebody gets hurt or somebody walks out. or what, you know, It's like these guys have to keep writing. And 20 bucks says it's not even their fault anyway because we all know who gets final say. Yes. So I could come up with 20,000 ideas, right? as a creative writer and he picks the one that I'm like, I don't really know about that idea, but he picks that one because he liked it. And then yep. because he signs your checks, you got to yeah. run with it. And you have to be like, okay, that's what he wants to come up with. Okay. That's what we'll do. Yeah. So like, you know, stop busting creative writers balls. Stop saying that they're killing the wrestling business. They're not. Um, that's what makes it. <laughs> you know? And here's the other thing too. A lot of these creative writers are actually at some point were fans of pro wrestling, which is why they want to be a creative writer for pro wrestling. Mm-hmm. Yep, so by yep. saying that they're killing the business and pitching you what you would do instead is no different than what they do because you're a fan of pro wrestling, right? So, which is it? Right? Amen. Hmm. Stop thinking that your ideas are so much better because 20 bucks says not a single person who pitches an idea about what they should be doing on television and blah, blah, blah has ever took it, taken a writing for television college course at all. I have, but all these other guys bitching. And let's not yeah, forget yep, yeah. that the ideas that you're pitching online, the writers might have pitched like three months ago. Yeah, true. Yep. And were turned down because that was you know it is their job, and they do have a direct ear to the wrestlers themselves, and who to have ideas the by themselves, and they find yep. a way to finance. Yeah, you know, not finance it, but read. You know, fine tune it. it. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. How about that? I gave you a word. Definitely <laughs> did. <laughs> you did a word. My brain is still like it's all the slush and gold and iciness. Yep. Um, so basically, just gotta focus on promos. So yeah. So actually, yeah. work on your promos. And I'll tell you this right now. I know I get a lot of bad rep, right? Especially by some listeners of the show who like to <laughs> post things on Facebook and <laughs> talk a bunch of crap and blah blah blah. And then I see them in locker rooms and they don't do anything like that. And I'm not talking about who you think I'm probably talking about. I'm just saying in general. Because we do get a lot of hate ever since I came on, which is good because you're still tuning in. Uh, and you're actually spreading the word, which I appreciate. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, like, here's the thing that most people don't realize about me. I'll go up to a lot of guys backstage, a lot of the, you know, the, the green guys, and be like, well, this is what I think you should do. And, this is, and I try to give them advice, especially with promos. If there's one thing, like, I'm never going to sit there and say I'm the best wrestler in that locker room. I know I'm not. I'm a, I'm a good worker. I get it. I get psychology probably better than most workers. I'm not going to be the greatest at 
everything, right? But I, I'll put my, my, my you know, what's, what's the, you know. Your uh, two cents? Not my two cents. My, <laughs> I'll put my, my pride, I guess. We'll just go with that one because I can't think of the other word. And, you know, we only have so much time in the radio show. Uh, I can't sit here all night <laughs> thinking words. But I'll put my pride in the line and I'll say, hey, I can cut a better promo than most guys in the locker room. Because like I said, there's only probably a handful of guys that I've yeah. seen. Yeah. And that's not to take away from their wrestling ability. Some of these guys are amazing workers, but God, they cannot cut a promo for their life. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Either they don't get their gimmick, or they just figure, oh, I'll just, I'll just say something. I, I don't need to... No, rehearse your promos. Okay. Uh, cut a promo in the mirror every day. Picture a storyline in your head, then cut a promo based on that. Then yep. do it the opposite. You're on the other end. Come up with some. There's a lot of different things. So if you, you need know, promo help, definitely. come to me. That was the whole point. I will help you out. MC3 did it. MC3 hit me up a couple of weeks ago. And he said, hey, you know, I posted the promo. Can you tell me what you think? And I gave him my honest opinion. Uh, and he said, oh, well, what if I did something? And, and we had a, a nice conversation going about it. And I expect for his next promo, it'll be a little bit better than his last one. Nobody's going to get it overnight. You got to keep doing them. You know, but I told him, I said, before you post it, send it to me. I'll let you know. I'm such a bad guy, right? And there you go. Yep, I'm see? such a bad guy that I'm helping out guys that I can't gain anything from. That's such it. Such a terrible person I am. <laughs> yeah. But let's get it straight. Damn, that smooth voice. Let's get it straight. A lot of people say I'm a genius for a reason. Oh, boy. And that's not even the two gentlemen over here at the table because they've never dropped that word yet about me. But there's a lot. Your, your own promoter has said, I'm a genius. To which you're like, oh, I don't understand why he's a genius. Well, because I am. Who said that? I'm not going to say. Why should he say? <laughs> they know who they are. <laughs> That's all. They know who they are. <laughs> I mean, I could, but he's probably listening. He could call in. We can have a discussion if you'd like. Well, if you're out there, please call in. What's the number again, Sean? 631-386-8229. Give us Twitter. Let's give us again. Oh, you can At tweet. Heel yes. and face. Yes, yes. What about Facebook? And or, you know, you can tweet me personally uh, if you'd like. Um, you can Go Instagram ahead and plug me. Yourself. Go ahead and plug yourself. Well, I'm going to break the fourth wall if I do. Uh-oh, oh. we're going there. Oh, uh, we're going there. You can tweet me at TrillTF. <laughs> you can Instagram me and direct message me at TrillTF. Uh, you can post on my YouTube, which is at the real TrillTF. You could post on my Facebook page at Trill TF. There's a lot of different things. I make solid rap music. What do you want from me? I, I said, hey, you need some new songs? And someone was like, oh, this is awesome. Let's just use this. It's not my fault. I want an ATL. Oh, look at this. A rapper and a wrestler and a communications intern and a DJ. And yeah, yeah. He's taking creative writing classes. The communications intern. We had that going for the longest time. Yeah, you know. I think we Where's did. Papa Ganoush? Why hasn't he uh, called in in a while? Because I guess that because I guess the Italian intern hasn't <clears throat> been around. Yeah, uh, and also, uh, should we break he, that fourth wall? <laughs> does he have to go training? I think go, you know, go to Italy or whatever from uh, Sheep's Head Bay. Oh, so Papa you know, Ganoush, call back in. I want to have a discussion with you. <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to figure out how to open it. What's again. the call in the number again, Sean? Six three one three eight six eight two two nine. Now do it in that voice of yours. Six three one three eight six eight two two nine. You had to go there. I had to, Tommy. <laughs> Come on, that's now. your favorite voice. <laughs> I want to stick that yes, microphone yes, up his ass. Tommy, voice. if you were playing World of Warcraft, what race would you be? Viking. There's no Viking race. No I want to be a Viking. You can't be a Viking. Be a Viking. I want to be a Viking. But you can't. Something. You can't stick plastic horns on your goddamn head and call yourself a Viking. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't even wear those. No, they what? didn't. They didn't wear those. The Viking helmets, I, they I never know. actually wore them. Yeah. That's why I said... Kind of like Santa Claus is actually really black. No, I'm only kidding. He's white because that was based on a real guy. <laughs> Megan Kelly was right. No? Nobody remember that controversy around Christmas no. time? No, oh, I don't. Oh, my God. You guys need to watch Fox News more. All right. I don't want... I, I, I like to watch Fox News because it's funny. I watch enough Fox News when I'm at my father-in-law's house. I like it because it's funny. Because <laughs> it's just so funny to see how blind they are. And then I like to flip over to MSNBC, and I laugh even harder because they're even blinder. Did That's you see what I posted on, fa on my Facebook page well, about, no. about how the bill how the bill becomes a law? What bill? The picture I posted. How no, I didn't see it. Just you didn't fill see me it. In. I'm too lazy to get. Do my you phone remember in my those pocket. little ABC like things like how a bill becomes a law that used to play on Saturday mornings? Oh, okay. yes. Yep. Well, the bill and the little boy are sitting on the on the steps of the Capitol building, and he goes, oh. you know, I'm have to look this up. How's now, the bill right? become a law? 
And, and on the bottom it says, you know, corporations write the bill and then bribe politicians until it becomes a law. <laughs> oh, no. Wow. That's why I think there should be term limits <clears throat> in Congress and Senate. Oh, boy. There no. should be lobby limits on Congress. There should be no <laughs> lobbying, period. How's that? Wow. Well, what else you got there, man? All right, well, are we ready, are we ready to turn back our focus to the yeah. indie scene? Because we got a lot of stuff going on in the indies right now. Yes, we do. Definitely do. We, right, got, so uh, we got somebody tweeted me. I want to see if it's who. Wait, oh, somebody tweeted. Somebody tweeted poor Ryan. Poor Ryan. Well, uh, nope, nope. Take nope. my name out your mouth. Nope, just some randomly hot. Take girl. your name out my mouth. <laughs> no, it was just some randomly hot girl. Cause I'm like most of these guys, I get laid. Oh boy. Okay, can we move oh, on? Wow. Okay. Let's move on. So, <laughs> Victory Pro Wrestling is this Saturday. It is called Before the Storm, and it is at the Center H V P W Hall. They should have called it before you check my email, <laughs> but clearly they don't ever do that. Well, so. no. What, they should just call it what's email. <laughs> they should but anyway. call it I'm going to shit on you until you respond to me. But anyway, back to what I was saying. And where are they at? And bell time is 7.30, the VFW Hall in Center Reach. All right. And uh, womp, it womp. is their last show before their eighth anniversary show, where the new King of New York tournament winner will be crowned. Well, the official coronation. He's already been crowned. Womp womp. Wah, 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 wah. Oh, all right. I know I'm getting bo- brownie points Any- from, from some fat ass out there who hates on VPW every time it gets brought up. But yeah, you know, anybody uh, don't screw you too, fat man. Anybody, <laughs> anybody special coming in or what? I uh, it, it, it they oh. listed a, the, their whole roster is scheduled to appear. It didn't give any specific matches. That's a good way to do it. All right. Hey, yeah, they sell out though every time. Yeah, so. <laughs> they do. And let's turn our attention to another. Hey. Surely sell out show, Psycho Circus. Oh, Psycho Circus. Psycho Circus. Yes. Psycho, Psycho Circus. Psycho Circus, NYWC. Yes. Got to get Next it. Next week, our show will <laughs> Just be totally like Rain Man. dedicated Psycho Circus. to Psycho Circus. It is? It will be. Oh, okay. Wow. That's news to me. It's the guy who makes the program sheets. But I okay. know, right? Well, you see, that's... Thanks for filling me and Tommy that, in on that's that. That's why, know, we, right? need to have our, I'm like, that's why we need to have our Monday and Tuesday conversations like normally. We huh? only had one yesterday. Oh, yeah, and it was about something else. Right. Pre-production. Keep up. I, so, I'm out of the loop Psycho here now. Psycho Circus, February 15th, NYWC Sportatorium. Tickets are on sale now, and they're selling fast. At least that's... They're probably going to be sold out. If, I would say If you wait a few yeah. more days, they're going to be sold out. I would out, say so by s- this Saturday, <laughs> definitely. Yeah. So some of the matches I, announced. Tommy didn't know what I meant. Tommy, I, Tommy doesn't yeah. know what I mean. Tommy, He's like, what? Tommy knows he, what he literally means. said, huh? I, we were texting last night. <laughs> I was like, I, right. And he was just like, huh? And I'm like, uh, I basically is is the way cool kids say okay now. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was, was lo- just like, well, I ain't down with that dizzy dog or something. He said, and I'm like, wow, this is just <laughs> you showing. You say your words to Tommy. He goes, he, said, to he the said, I'm not hip like that. I said, Tommy, yeah. nobody's used the word hip since the 70s. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, c- continue to drop those magic mushrooms. <laughs> continue, Sean. <laughs> so some of the matches announced. Like the Joker's Wild Battle Royal. Oh, that's gonna be interesting. That that's always a good battle royal. That, okay, let me just put it this way: indie promotions stop doing battle royals because you can't do them as good as NYWC can. Amen. Sorry. I, I know, that's only because I've seen a couple of. I'll videos. tell you, I've my stronghold one promoter. sucked, and I wasn't well, happy. We about got an it. honest promoter. Whoa. I wasn't happy about an it. Honest, this is this that's is like breaking, military intelligence. This is, I wasn't this, happy this is about thunderous it. Thunderous silence. Or changing Obama. The two words don't go together. I wasn't happy. No, no, we got change. It just wasn't the change we wanted. <laughs> I was not happy with everybody in that ring that it worked the uh, battle royale at all. I wasn't happy with Tough Jim. Okay. Stop being a wrestler. You're a ref. Okay, can we get That's, back to NYWC? Yeah, okay. we Go ahead. Our Stop segment. doing battle royals. NYWC will murder you on every battle royal. Okay, and then it's the Rack and Sack. Oh, yeah. That's Nikki Adams. That's Nikki and Adams, Rods. who I only like because I trained with her, according to some people. <laughs> Which, speaking of, I saw I br- brought this up yesterday. Right, go ahead. You brought it I, up yesterday. I had an omission last week when we were talking about like me and, and Nikki and Gallo in the same class and everything like that. I totally forgot about Jordan, who wrestles under the name Jay Red for NYWC. Uh, which, funny enough, has basically the same gimmick that I had when I first broke into the business, which is the wigger thing. Uh, and I found out what hip hop artist he's re- he's mocking essentially like emulating which is riff raff 
I knew it started with an R. I couldn't think of the name. There you right. go. Yeah, so right. Jay, I, me, Nikki Adams, Jack Gallo, and Jay Red all graduated the same. There you go. Class. So the rack and sack will face Apollyon and Bill Carr. That's going to be good. Bill Carr is another one that I go way back with. And of course, there's the master of the mat, which I have no idea what that is. You don't know what the master of the mat is? No, I don't. I've never attended an NYWC so show. Psycho Circus will be my first. Wow. Why? Wow. Okay, so Master of the Mat is basically they take like two of like the, the purest ring technicians that you can think of, right, on the indie scene, and they put them in the ring. I think it's like 20 minutes. They do a 20 time. minutes. Yeah. And it basically what happens is it's like anytime they score a victory. Submissions are two points. They get, it's a point based. Pinfalls are one point. Oh, so it's a collegiate. Countouts like, are minus yeah. one point and disqualifications are minus two. And yes. I suppose whoever has the greatest So who has, whoever has the most points, which every time points are changing, they make the announcement during the match. The match goes on for 20 minutes. You're guaranteed a 20 minute match to find out who is the master of the mat, which is basically saying, I am the best pure wrestler. So if you ever. know collegiate wrestling, that's a form of collegiate, <laughs> yeah, too. It's essentially yes. collegiate wrestling and yes. pro wrestling. Which is Which really they awesome. they announce who's going up against Master of the Mat? No, no, I don't think they've announced it yet. At least as, as You know it's going to be a I sick test. match. That usually steals the show. Um, Not so much as this next match that's been announced, Will. Half steel cage, half barbed wire. Anything else is legal. Team Whipwreck oh, versus yeah. Team, Team Elite. Elite. Oh, yeah. Who were the participants? Mm. Did they have it listed? They had pictures, but again, I'm not so familiar with the MYWC let's, roster. Let's pull it up. Let's pull it Other up. than Mikey Whipwreck. And I am fairly familiar with their There roster, you go. So I will go to their website. Again, this will be see. the first time that I've attended an I am MYWC shocked event. You've never been to an MYWC event. I have not. You never have? You are not one. Let me put it this way MYWC, <clears throat> I don't care who it is they set the standard for what a wrestling show at least in long island probably new york period should be like yeah definitely long island like if you're not trying to be on the same level as nywc you're doing yourself a great disservice that's how good their product is yeah they're consistent with it too which is makes it better and they have like an entire locker room filled with guys who are officially trained somewhere as well uh, where'd you find this? <laughs> it was just on there. It was on their. Uh, it was on their Facebook page. That this information that I have in my hand comes from. All right, so it looks like we got uh, Team Whipwreck is Stockade. Uh, Champion got, of the year, uh, Francis Kiplin Stevens. Let me just see. It's a little hard. A lot of these websites aren't designed for cell phones. No. Take a look. It looks like it's uh, Rex Lawless is one of them. And then... What is it, that King Omega? Oh, wait. It tells you right here. Oh, and they did announce the Master of Math participants. Did they? I, I, yeah. Again, I wasn't on the website. I was on the and Facebook page. And it's four page. amazing wrestlers, of course. Uh, well, Tony Nese is making his return to NYWC at Psycho Circus. Uh, this is going to be a good match. Uh, the Master of the Mat features Papa Don, who's been the Master of the Mat before, uh, against uh, Drew Galak, who's uh, have you ever been seen a match from him? No, Drew no. Galak, no. Uh, awesome worker, <laughs> awesome worker. I don't even think he wrestles in knee pads. You know how crazy that is. Uh, Alex Reynolds and Johnny Silver. So those four Master of the Mat. That seems like it's going to be good. I don't remember them ever doing four guys. I usually remember it being just two guys. But I could be well, wrong. that's one hell of a show. So <clears throat> February 15th, you got to get down there, man. You, be, you better get there early. Oh, I'm buying. I'm pretty much buying my tickets online tomorrow. I am sad that I won't be able to make this. That's, this really disappoints me. Somebody illegally film it. Somebody mm -hmm. illegally. Uh, you it. didn't hear that on here. No. <laughs> like, yeah, don't do that. Go buy your tickets. And then buy the DVD if you can't be there, which I'll probably wind up doing. They're sold out first and second row already. That's okay. I don't need to be in the first and second row. But I'm just saying, in general. Usually uh, they're sold out a week before. Seven o'clock, fellas. This is going to be amazing. I'm like, like, 
like can't wait. That's how I made like I'm like almost I'm super mad. You have no idea how mad I am. The last Psycho Circus they had last year. Standing room only. What's yeah, standing room only, and it was roughly about almost 800 people. But nothing with their their uh, heavyweight title, huh? Oh no, big O. No, well it's vacant right now. Oh. So nothing announced about that, huh? Uh, I haven't seen anything. No. Interesting. Maybe we'll clear some up when we have some when we try to get some people. Oh, Tommy, week. you'll actually finally be able to see Marty Bell. I guess I will. This is Marty Bell, Tommy. Mm. Oh, you got a picture of That is Marty Bell. Yeah. You seriously have never seen her work before? I've, I've seen her. Okay, yeah. so now you know who Marty Bell is. Yeah, I've seen her. Now, stop <laughs> being stupid. <laughs> no, you're stop being stupid. I know it's a difficult task for you, but stop. All right. <laughs> it's like telling Sean to stop eating chocolate. I mean, Sean, I mean, stop I mean, eating chocolate. <laughs> their roster is so deep. Like, I dare another promotion, and this includes you too, Tommy. Like, you should be striving for this. You're just starting out, right, with Stronghold? Like, strive for this type of roster. Well, let me tell you. Best, right? Oh, yeah. Let me tell you, my roster uh, is being rebuilt. So if it's, you know, if you are a wrestler out there with training of at least, and this is my requirement now, three years. Well, that's not good. Yes. That's bad. That's bad. Three that's years professionally terrible. trained. That's terrible. that's terrible. And more. That's terrible. Terrible. But there's a requirement that you have to train at least three to four times a week still. That's terrible, too. That's Why? Some, what are you, terrible? So you have to train. Everybody still. up and down your roster has to train. Yes. Three to four times a week. Yes. Yep. You're not going to have a roster. I will. Not on Long Island. Not on Long Island. Yes, probably. I will. <laughs> well, the whole Who? thing is... Because the second one person doesn't, the second there goes all your credibility. Well, So I guess I'm off your roster. No, no. Uh, but you but just you've tra- I don't you, train you, anymore. You, you, I go to the gym. That's about it. See, that's a little bit of a training. None of these, some of these guys mm. are sitting at home. But I don't like. I don't like doing your, nothing. Okay, we're gonna have a, we're gonna have a shooting gallery or mini shooting gallery right here. <laughs> Three years minimum. Yeah. Minimum. So you can never have the next big thing. No, no, no. If, if you can't have a, a Jack Allo, you can't say, "Oh, we have Jack Allo. We made the next Jack Allo. We made the next Ricky Richards. We made if the next." You know, there's a kid. They weren't allowed in. But the whole thing is, if his trainer. Says that he's qualified, that he can produce. So then why the three year minimum? That's, that's what I want. But that because you're contradicting I want yourself, it. you then. are. Because I don't want to just. That have, is so bad. I don't want no. This is no, what I'm talking about. Promoters fucking the boys all the time. This is the type of shit that'll get the boys <laughs> all rattled up, bro. Like I'm one of the See? boys right the now. The flies right? are in the Vaseline jar, Tommy. And I'm, and I'm rattled up. <laughs> I'm rattled. <laughs> Whole monitor doesn't even agree with you. So you're saying there's exceptions, and you're willing to throw these exceptions all over the place. No, no, no. If it's new blood, I'm not talking about what's there now in the ring, in my ring. Because so if it's confused. new blood, all right. I'm confused. You're, 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 I'm confused. All right, you're already a part of the locker room. Okay. It doesn't matter. It doesn't pertain to you. Okay. It doesn't pertain but for to anybody Gallo. coming in. Anybody coming in, this is the requirement I want. Because I don't want somebody coming in and hurting you, hurting Gallo. But, because of unexperienced. But but at the same time, at some point, Gallo and I were unexperienced. If but every that's, promoter that's, had that rule, we But couldn't. you guys laid down your tracks already. You guys took care of what you had to. But we did that because we had to fucking go to Jersey for no pay and Connecticut I've for done no it too. pay. And this and that, you know what I'm saying? I've done it. We were first because nobody would book us because they had that, oh, well, nobody knows of you. And it's like now, it's like, oh, I'm Jack Gallo. Every single promoter wants to book Jack Gallo. Yeah, I know, I know. But the whole thing is, that's what I'm trying to say. It's protecting but you I'm guys. I'm still confused. All right, you so are it's, crazier than so, a shithouse right. rat. All right, so, okay. hold on. <laughs> so what's the three-year minimum? They have to right. have three years to join Let's, your roster? No, no, no. They have to have a three-year training, at least, with any company. Who, if you say who I... Who trains for three trains years? Who trains for three no, years? if you train for a year... And you say, oh, well, I, I'm still training. And there's Who guys out there. That long? This Ooh. guy's still out there that How trains. How bad are they? Every day <laughs> you train. You should be training as much as you can. Yeah, but. To stay on top of your I'm moves saying, and your like, strength. Yes. Uh, wait, what? Yes. Listen, what are you talking I'm about? I'm talking about in You're gym. You're killing us. All right, all right, us, listen. <laughs> I want you to be in the gym to work out. Okay. I want you in the ring to work I, out. Not everybody has access all to right? the ring. Then if you don't. There's ways of doing it, not backyard. So you're talking about why Eddie Guerrero trained in the backyard? Not in his backyard. Ring. If he I had a ring, he had trained in Mexico in his backyard. Amen. That's a little different. Okay, How but I'm saying if but I I'm had saying, a ring and I put it in my backyard, yeah, I've done so that. So I'm not allowed any longer to have a, a life. 
mm-hmm. and I can't do make you, money because I spend all my training not as a you, legitimate worker. But I'm talking but about guys see, that are new to the business today. Well, yeah, they should be training, right? But once, but if they're dedicated a hundred percent, all right, fine. You got to work. You got to pay your bills. But if you're dedicated, when you're not yeah, doing your and that's job, called being in the gym and working on things like you know, you know, my gear and cutting yes. promos and all that kind yep. of stuff, right? But you can't expect all these guys to be like, well, you got to be in a ring. That's like, yeah, what you're, what you're, you're like, okay, I graduated high school, but to to work a job. To work this job that I want, I, I got to go back to high school for two years. I mean, what is that? If you want it, you'll get it. That's what That's, it is. Just, I think, I, you know what? There's going to be so many cracks in this system of yours, Tommy, that it's going to cause problems. Oh, no. If you, oh, Tommy, I'm telling you right now. If I see that there's it's an the, exception made for such and such, right? Oh, no, no, no. I'm going to be like, fuck no. you, Tommy. You're fucking you know, the all boys. All right, all right. Wait, wait, wait. January 18th. Okay. I picked him like, like, a, like a chicken. I picked the feathers off. Got rid of the bad ones. Okay, yeah. And I kept the good ones and put the good ones in a box. Okay. Okay? But I'm saying, but now, anybody coming in... Anybody like, coming <coughs> in to get into that box is not going to okay. get in without the... With... I, okay, I'm saying... Okay, I, well, let's put it this way. Ricky Richards will say... Somebody's that, fired. I, I'm... <laughs> put it this way. I use my friends as my examples, right? Ricky Richards says that Jack Gallo trained him. Yeah, but you, okay. I'm saying no, but, today, but listen, if but listen I have to listen to me. Listen a 19 year old kid coming to me at the door right now and says, I want to be in Stronghold, well, go to NYWC, train on there two days a week then, and do it okay. every week. That's okay. fine. Okay. And then That's what I be, want. Yes. But, 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 but I want a one year. Three, but he doesn't have the three year minimum. But then why is his three year minimum? But he's not in the door yet. Do your one year training there, and then I'll look at you. But, and then after that, I'll give you two years where I still want training. No, it's a two year still training. But that doesn't make any sense because guys, some guys are just naturals. You realize that? Yeah, right? but you keep on going. I want Gallo, the, Gallo I, graduated the top of Gallo, his class. He's been doing it three so, months. If I give you, a, I, if I, if I, I give you a, a Alex bo- Reynolds. All right, hold on, thing. hold on. I give you a bow and arrow. You're gonna hit a, a target exact. If you give me some training. Okay. Okay, but, but if you give me and Sean a bow and arrow, one of us is going to learn it faster. Okay. One of us is going to get shot but in the ass now. with an arrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tommy would be the one getting shot in the ass. Yeah. But uh, what I'm trying to say is this is what I want. I want these guys to be 100%. I understand you're looking for a high standard, but you're going to make the mistake because, say, okay, my point <coughs> was Ricky Richards says that Jack Gallo trained him, right? Jack Gallo, um, I'm blowing up some spots here. Sorry, oh. Jackie boy. Uh, we ha- we have another friend who's looking to break into the business, and Gallo has been working off to the side with him the last few months, uh, doing some things. Now some recent developments have, have occurred, right? Where I can't break that news yet, um, but some recent developments have occurred okay. where Gallo had to stop training him because of certain reasons. But let's just say for the for argument's sake, Jack Gallo passes him off to me and says, "Ryan, I want you to train." We'll call him Mike. Let's just say. That's Mike. A, that's an easy name, right? Mike. <laughs> so he says, I want you to train Mike. And I'm training Mike in a ring, right? Not in the backyard, in a ring. All right? And Mike is picking up every single thing flawlessly. And I come to you, Tommy, and I say, hey, listen, you know, Mike's, Mike's got it. He's got it. He's ready. 100% ready. And I've been training him for eight months. You're going to say no? I would, no, I wouldn't say no. I would say I'll look at him. That's what I would okay, do. And he, I would and, look at him. And he's good. Right? And I would have you okay, do I a match Mike just to, to put I a match Mike out. to you. We give you a match, right? Blah, blah. You like Mike. You think, oh, hey, he's good. What do you do? Give me two more months. Actually, give me the four more months of training, and then I'll take him. And you know, Mike's gonna, I know what I'm going to tell Mike. Fuck this guy. I'll get you booked elsewhere. Do you that, see the problems that you're creating for yourself? That's what I would have but to now, deal with. But now Mike goes on. He becomes an indie, like a, like a Grim Reefer type indie guy, right? And he never wants to work with you because you were the first guy who told him, no, no. No, it you're wouldn't good, be. You're good, but not yet. You're good, but I want the year. But do you I see want the year. problems you're presenting yourself? I'd rather do so the year. So now you just burn Mike, right? Now you burn me because it's my first student. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? Like, do you see the, the, the downward spiral this can go do down? You, do you feel, by do you setting feel a minimum. Do you feel Instead the of tightening? By no. setting, but, but like setting. I'm not, I, I still want the point. year. Here's my thing, though. You're defining everything in terms of a year by time frame and not in terms of talent. If you got it, you got it. Oh, yeah. Right, because let's, do, say, yeah. let's say I. Went and trained for a year. Now I'm, I'm an obese man, and we, and I'm old, and 
I could suck in a year. But I come to you and say, Tommy, I did my year. I deserve to be on Stronghold. It's not as good an argument, but okay, I see where you're going with this. Yeah. It but did you understand what I'm saying, though, Tommy? You're basing it off of, off of uh, some, some imaginary time frame instead of just talent. Well, put it this way, man. I trained with Gallo, right? Gallo is a better worker than I am. In all aspects. I, will, I have no problem saying that, right? But you were basically putting me and Gallo in the same year box when Gallo, by that time, that year is up, right? Was already is, booking is paid shows. Was already, yeah, booked every weekend, blah, 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 blah. And I was, <laughs> you know, the eight month, nine month kind of period guy. And Gallo got it in two, three months. Like everything, you know what I'm saying? You're putting mm-hmm. this yep. restriction on us that's like retarded, is the best it's, way I could put it. It's literally retarded, Tommy. That's what it's I want. Burn more bridges, I'm telling you, right now. Well, hey, well, if I have to, I'll be, rebuild talent this talent. Is talent. Trust while me. you rethink that for a couple of minutes, talent is talent. And before we move on you to know, the next uh, independent section, let's take a break. Talent yeah. is talent. Hold on, and they take us out while we beat Tommy true. over the head with a shovel. Access unknown. Saga, the insect mentable from the mighty, mighty conceptual elements. We're about to fuck shit up. We are the br- 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 black sheep. Yeah, this was cool. Br- br- black br- sheep, not a fucking Dealing with the lies 
Intense conversation outside. Wow, man, I'm cold. <laughs> that was intense. It should be cold. We yeah. were talking about stigmas, and we left yep. you out in the cold. Tommy's gonna get a stigma if he follows the standard. <laughs> I think we'll push the standard a little smaller. Yeah, I think it should just be based on talent. But that's just me. What do I know? Don't worry, the door is open. I'm not open. a genius in some circles that hate me. And speaking of geniuses, let's move on. <laughs> Thank you. So he cut good promos. Genius. What? The genius? Yes, he cut great promos. <laughs> But can we move on now? Yes. Yeah, go ahead. I was All just right. trying to segue. So, Where are we going? SWA. Snowball. Did we ever get an announcement? That's my as first question. Ma- well, as a matter of fact, I did receive you one. Yes, we did. Awesome. Yes, he did. Awesome. And, and we're going to talk about that in a little bit. Okay. Does anybody know any of the matches that were announced? Uh, yes. No. Well, first, first off, <laughs> well, you some. have um, Stockade. Um, oh, He's coming back to SWA. And you have uh, John Malloy going up against Justin Toxic. What, just for the Pride title. Yep, okay. For the title. Jump right over the match that I was going to announce. But okay, well, but you, ahead, have, you, you, can have, you have Stockade. Uh, he's going up against, well, he's returning to SWA against another returning member of SWA, which is Necro Butcher. So that's going to be a big, uh, I think we're going to see a very technical match <laughs> with lots of, of uh, holds. Really? And yeah. a lot of hitting. A lot of submission holds and some special... A lot of weapons. Like ...networking in that match. Yeah, okay. No. We're going to see a bunch of guys getting punched in the face as hard as they can punch each other in the yeah. face. That's going to be awesome. And we're going to see some crazy... And it's not catch-up, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and we're going to see somebody go over the guardrail because somebody always ignores that rule. Back yeah. When, whenever and whenever Necro Butcher's involved, somebody name. goes over the guardrail. Yeah. Usually his trigger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who was up for female wrestler of the year this past year. <laughs> Almost won. I still want to know how we got, how, how that was allowed to happen. Uh, I don't know was, about that we, one. we left it up to the people. Um, <laughs> People's choice. Have, yeah. um, this ought to be a good one. Well, good for Grim Reefer. Bad for CJ <laughs> Antonino. Uh, CJ Antonino going one on one with the Grim Reefer. No. Thoughts? Let's not forget. CJ, call in. I want to see what it's like to be a dead man walking. <laughs> I have yeah. some questions. I never met one before. I got to make sure I have paramedics there ready. Let's not forget. Definitely. That Reefer injured. Yes. CJ Antonino. That's why I cannot wait. At Mugs and Coco. CJ, if you're listening, call in. I have some very important questions. And I only have less than a month to ask them because come March second, you won't be here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and trust I think, me, I yeah. think Grim Reefer is gonna chop his face off. That's what I think. <laughs> well, you, know. uh, you got the ugly one, uh, Len Oddity, around, so he might be chopping faces off. And speaking of Len Oddity, he is going up against the debuting. Hopefully, he will not no show this show like he did the other show, Bobby Blue Jay. Wah, wah, wah. And moving on, uh, we also have, of course, the 30 man snow brawl rumble itself, which right. two participants have been announced thus far. Uh, we all know that number 30 is going to be Nova Scotia, which is going to bring us and segue us <laughs> into that official statement. Uh, and then they recently announced that it will be the second participant in the match, not 
what number he's drawing, but a participant in the match will be Ricky Richards, Esquire the Third, who hates when you call him Ricky Richards, Esquire the Third. He prefers just Ricky Richards or Mr. Richards. Or the best in the room. Or the 1% of professional wrestling. That's it. The 1%. Uh, Do we have any other names for him? Nope. 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 That's it. Um, Racist, maybe? I don't know. Is he? Uh, he He's been on this show and he said negative things about people (laughs) of other race. No, he wouldn't be. He wouldn't no. be. He wouldn't be racist if he hated me because I was Jewish. Jewish is not a race. Yeah, but he's not a racist. He's a nice guy. Come on, he's a one percenter. He's generous. You've nice never one. clearly driven in a car with him to Jersey before. No, I try not to. Then again, if you drive, if you've driven with any of us, uh, you would find out some interesting things about some of the guys that you think are very, you know, gentle, honest souls. <laughs> That aren't so honest or gentle. Um, but yeah, yeah. So, okay, Sean, I've so been waiting wait, for a month now. Wait, wait. Let's segue and talk about a little bit about Mugs and Coco for a second. Just give me the statement about the Battle Royale. The Mugs and Coco. Well, let's, let's give a little back history, you know. Okay, okay. Communications major. Come, Come on. on. Come on, you're killing Lighten me. Lighten up. You're killing me. Come on. I want to get to the statement. All right, so Mugs and Coco included a Battle Royal in which the winner was granted the 30th spot in the Snowball Rumble. Okay. And we, who won that? Well, that's a bit of a head scratcher, if you ask. No, the Scotia is the official winner, right? Apparently, but okay, not how, so. But, huh? That's w- Get to the statement. What's the statement say? Okay, so let's just give the background. As of right now, from what I know, Nova Scotia was the winner of that, that, that however, battle. However. And he drew number 30 now in the Star Brawl. But, but however. Sean got a statement. Wait, wait, we should go into why the statement is being issued. Because Head Rush, who was the last... Head Rush and Nova Scotia were the last two. Right. And Head Rush stepped through the ropes to the apron. And then thinking was drop kicked. Thinking he won. Onto the floor. And was drop kicked onto the floor in clear view of the referees, who then still announced Nova Scotia as the winner. Right. Which has been mind-boggling to me. But for, Sean's got a statement to correct for, this, so for please. For the last month... We have been asking SWA. We've been petitioning SWA. Did you follow that, Tommy? Through emails okay. and, and Facebook messages and phone calls for, a, for an official statement as to how this was allowed to happen. Okay. Who got back to you? This morning, it's unclear who got back to me. This morning, the SWA front office <clears throat> issued this statement into my inbox. <sighs> So this doesn't even have to be anybody. This could be Nova Scotia right in here. Well, it, it, it says from the SWA. We know about people in masks, okay? It says, so this could still be Nova Scotia. It says from the SWA front office. Okay. It came from their site. So He's I Canadian. Have to believe, Canadians, you can't trust them. So I have to believe that this statement is from the SWA front office. <laughs> Only the women, because their women are hot. And it says... Can I go on to make yes, the statement Yes, make now? the statement. Thank you. Okay. And it says, we, re- we realize... Our officials made a mistake. At the time it happened, Headrush attempted to bring it up with the officials after the match, but decided against it and raised Nova Scotia's hand. While Headrush may have been satisfied with that, we are not, and we attempted to contact him and offer him a match with Nova Scotia at Snowball to decide the last entrant. However, he has not returned any phone calls or answered any emails, and at this time is not expected to be at the show. That is the official give statement. Me, give me, give me. I want to reread it from the SWA front office. All right, hold on. Please. I got to. I got to forward it to me. Copy it and forward it to me. Well, I'm not going to copy it and forward it to me. There it is, right there. Okay. Okay. Hmm. You guys talk about it. I'm going to pick this apart real quick. <laughs> okay. So while Ryan is noshing on the meat of the matter or the statement what what do we think of that i mean due to given events at the ends of mugs and coco i.e you were quote unquote fired <coughs> and then assaulted and head rush was assaulted for not assaulting you and nobody has heard a peep from this guy apparently since well you know what, honestly, Malloy is not, as I said last week, cannot fire anybody. He doesn't have that authority. The only one that can do it is upper office, which is uh, John Malloy. I, I mean, uh, Jerry Werner. 
John Malloy. Everybody knows that crap already. Drink some more stupid juice. But uh, you know what? It's all right. I, I sat down with them and uh, we went over the match, and uh, and this whole conversation <laughs> that was brought to us, where that we discussed that we've been trying to get in touch with Nova Scotia. You mean Head Rush? No, we've been trying to get in touch with Nova Scotia no, the and Head Rush. Head Rush. Yes, we've been trying to get in touch with them, and uh, right now Head Rush is not even communicating with nobody. Okay. I have some questions. Uh oh. I guess I. W- uh, who knows if we can I, answer them? Well, I I would we'll like see. to get another official statement if they could. No, oh, well, I so guess. So take these questions, Sean. Air it out. And go to whatever source that you were able to get to that I couldn't get to. Because I got heat. <laughs> That's what we call it in the business. Uh, take these back to them. Okay. I think it is a brilliant idea to have Head Rush in Nova Scotia go one on one the night of to find out who's going to be number 30. What a great opening match idea. Uh, that is a good idea. It's not ideal because the idea of being number 30 is that you'll be the freshest guy in the battle, battle royal, right? Uh, and if you've already worked a match, who knows what injury you could obtain during that match, right? Correct. But this is the best you can make of the situation. Good idea. Right. I'm all for that. How do you not know where Head Rush is? Is he under contract with you? That's Tommy. a question for the director. <laughs> yeah, well, Tommy, is he under contract or is it like a loosely uh, no, based he, contract? What what is the deal? Um, now that bearded life is split, there is no contract. Okay, so so okay, so then you not getting in contact with him is totally him yeah. saying, you know what, yes. I don't have to necessarily work uh, here anymore. Yes. Okay, that answers that question. Yes, it does. Um, my other question is for Head Rush himself, so only he can answer this, and that is why didn't you push the issue with the referees there on the spot? Like, what was going through your head? If you're a worker, right, and you're, you want the chance to be champion, right? Even if you're a tag team wrestler, you want the chance to be a, you know, a champion, right? And why wouldn't you want... Why would you just so easily roll over and be like, you know, I guess, you know, they, made a, they clearly made a mistake. I know they made a mistake. The whole crowd knows they made a mistake. Why are you not pushing this issue? Would, would uh, watch an NFL game, right? Watch any NFL game. If the player thinks he was in bounds, right, he will go to the official and be like, "What are you talking about?" Blah blah blah. He'll go to his coach, you know, be like, "Throw the red flag." If he feels he was in bounds, he makes a stank about it. Head rush either just rolled over as a man, or knows something about himself that maybe we don't know. Maybe he doesn't want to be a champion. I don't know. Some guys they don't have high, you know, standards for. Maybe themselves. something happened. You know, backstage and could have maybe he, he believes in fate. I don't know. Maybe he's a religious moron, like <laughs> most of religious morons are, uh, <laughs> and thinks that oh, this is a sign from God, and we've only been here for six thousand years, even though science proves otherwise. My other question uh-huh. is, and this is an SWA statement I'll need: Are the officials being reprimanded? Yeah, Mr. Director, are what steps are going being be taken for these officials? Um, Which were who? Can't uh, it was, uh, I believe, I can't say for sure, it was definitely Dennis John, and I think it was John Q. The last I heard that Jerry Warner actually had each official sat down and went through each, you know, each match, everything they've done. So, yeah, that, that's a Jerry Warner situation. Okay. He took so care of need, it, yes. Okay, but there was no fine for them? Um, from what I was told directly, you is don't that know. so you don't really no, know. He basically said he's handling that okay, situation. Okay, so we need a statement from Jerry. Warner yes, then. at that time. Or yeah. the SWA front office. Yeah, so we need a quote from somebody other than Tommy C because apparently this is above yeah. his pay grade. <laughs> no, no. Were the referees reprimanded? Were they put on probation? Were they fined? Were they taken off of some important matches coming up? I'll. They be, were pulled I from. Will, I will literally cause a riot. On March 1st, if one of those referees is officiating the championship match with Johnny Malloy and Justin or, Toxic. Or the Snowball Rumble. Or the, even the Snowball Rumble. <laughs> can you please go out? Uh, listen, from all I, for what I know, I can hit him up if you want me to. Corey Price, referee of the year, <laughs> might be available on March 1st. Why don't you bring in some fresh eyes to referee? Yeah. You know, that have legitimate backgrounds. I'll, I'll even go out there and referee. No, do not put no, Tommy out there. No, please. Because he'll tell every wrestler, Were you be- have you been here for a year? Have you been here for three years? Oh, you can't be in the Rumble, man. Plus, you don't need any white envelopes to appear. Yeah, with that either. But I want to know. So maybe, Sean, you can find out through some of your connections, and we right. can go from there. 
Because that's a good follow-up question. That's a fair follow-up question. It is. Maybe a certain referee wants to, you know, tweet me oh, or call Jesus. in. What is the call-in number again, Sean? Do it in the voice. 631-386-8229. All right. Maybe <laughs> somebody wants to call in. We can have this discussion. Maybe he can give me an answer as to if he was fined or not. I don't know. All right. I still think SWA's got a hell of a lineup card, though. Yeah, it's set up. It's a nice, nice setup. All right, so what else we got? Tommy, what are you writing down? We got to talk. We got to plug something. Um, well, April 5th, Stronghold's oh, going to have another show, Tommy, man. Who was just added to this autograph signing? I haven't. Um, I well, don't it's know not from, even an autograph signing. It's a full show. Uh, okay, well, I, and, I, I don't know because I have only seen it 17 times. <laughs> Well, you know what? Times just add it the to the show. <laughs> just add it to the show from the other other day, actually. Um, Velvet Sky. Okay. Ink Ink, Shannon Moore, and Jesse Neal. Okay. ATL? No. No, he's not available that day. You can't afford ATL. And also Gail Kim. Oh, come on! Are you kidding me? <laughs> no. What day is this? April 5th. I. Oh, my God, I hate you! <laughs> You got so. Sith a little angry. Oh, and you know it's, what happens when Siths get angry, right? Uh-oh. I just wanted to sit on my face. <laughs> Could you stop that? <laughs> <laughs> Gail, if you're listening, sit wow, on my face. Wow, man. Just once backstage, I'll pull like it's like the reverse Tony Atlas. <laughs> <laughs> you know? He likes getting walked. You like getting sit. I just it's sit right. on my face. I'll, I'll be your personal couch the entire night. <laughs> I might well. have to skip this. Shut up, hall monitor. Well, this just is so what I bring to the table, literally. <laughs> I'm bringing this to the table. <laughs> well, April fifth, it's coming. I might about. have to leave this bachelor party and be like, "No." So, sorry, ladies guys. and gentlemen, you know what? I have to go More. sit, and, you know, next to Gail Kim and try to convince her to sit on my face. <laughs> oh. oh my God! Thank God she's posed nude yep. before. Oh well, yeah. Well, there's more information. Oh, I do without myself. <laughs> yep, uh, it'll be coming up. More information on that, definitely. Yeah, hold and on her. Shut up. <laughs> and there will be others added to the card. Just uh, her body is oh my god. You know, Asian. definitely. And, this is and matches will be announced in about two to three weeks. Oh, there's ones I haven't seen before. Sweet uh, Lord. Could, could, Tommy's could, looking over. You know, I've never seen it. Hey. Wait, uh, I'm uh, wait, I have to move <laughs> in case flying frying pans start flying. <laughs> No, I'm okay as long as I don't what? touch. What You're not you okay. See that? That's a letter opener she's <laughs> holding. I'm pulling it up, Tommy. That's what opens that our mail. Like Mickey J- Did you see Mickey James naked? Yeah, and disgusting. That's, I thought it was all right. Disgusting. Did you God. see the roast beef on that one? <laughs> oh, come Can on, we man. Stop. <laughs> Damn, Tommy. <laughs> oh. Woo. Well. It's going to be a great show. April 5th, Stronghold is back. Right here. Oh, wow, bro. He's what crazy. What is your problem, Hall Monitor? It's wrestling. I'm anti feminism, okay? Oh, yeah. I say whatever I want when I want it. <laughs> what is your problem? What, why don't you like this, Hall Monitor? Get on the mic and have a debate with me. Uh-oh. Don't shh me. My whole job here is to talk. <laughs> if you shushed all of us, there'd be just dead air for three hours. And. Three people well, might actually like that. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, April 5th, Stronghold's going to be back, and uh, we'll be telling you location. Push it a week. Oh, it's already set. I hate you. It's already <laughs> set. I hate you. You're not my friend anymore. And Velvet Sky. <laughs> what are you going to threaten me with that? Shannon Moore, Jesse Neal, and yours truly, Sith the Gail Kim. Ah! <laughs> so... How much does she cost? Can we bring her back for a date that I'm there? Well, we'll talk about that. Can I book her myself? (laughs) We'll talk about it. Jesus. We could do a private signing. Jesus. (laughs) 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 Can we please? Wow, man. Crazy. What is your problem? Did you not mark it as explicit this week? (laughs) No, I I don't think so. He didn't. But I can go back and edit it, thank goodness. Yeah, do that because I want her to sit on my face. Just put it right out. Who cares? With my tongue out there. I can, I can. I can see. Can we I, get her on the show? I can see the so, yes, we're gonna have a prior to. Oh, my penis just got. We're hard. gonna have actually each one of them calling in and stuff like that. No, can we actually have her live? That night, yeah. She's not gonna come and do a. How much would it cost to get her live in the studio? In studio, we'll talk. All right, because I will pay it just to stare at her. 
It's like, listen, <laughs> I will pay you if I could just stare at you for like two and a half hours. Oh, well, man. Anyway. Yeah, we'll okay. all have our Woman Crush Wednesdays, right? <laughs> we're gonna Who's your move Woman on. Crush Wednesday, Sean? I'm happily married, thank you. Would have to Tommy? be my wife. I love my wife, but I, I adore, uh, what's her name, Mickey Mickey James. Oh, roast beef, roast beef curtains or something? Oh, Mickey come James? on, man. She ain't that bad. <laughs> oh, can, can we yeah, have you seen it? Or Velvet Sky. Is oh, my, that one yeah. can sit on my face, too. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a big Velvet Sky fan, too. I'm just marking out right now. Yeah, I could tell, bro. And I and here's a guy who gets a lot of sex. That's me. <laughs> but, like, the M? Mm, it's a different degree. Well, hey, that's all right, man. Mm-mm-mm. But anyway, we'll move on a little bit. We'll, we'll it's, it's please. Do you guys feel the table rising a little bit? No, I hope not. Please. Uh, all right. So uh, how do we go on from that? How do we move? How do we segue from that? But we've got a lot going on, man, with Stronghold. So yeah, I have a lot going on in my out. pants right now. <laughs> no, we don't need to know about that. <laughs> Hall monitor, you're acting as if you are shocked about what I say. I shit on everything. Okay. That's it, bro. I shoot on everything. That's and it. I say what I want to say. Have you heard my music before? <laughs> Paul Monitor, let's just, I'm just going to drop some, some knowledge for you right now. I have another song coming out in two weeks. Sean will probably be posting it everywhere. <laughs> Not as much as Tommy posts his stuff everywhere. Hey, got to let everybody in know. In that song, there is a very specific line. So bad that I had to censor myself for the first time. Ever. I've never censored myself. But this is a bad line. You guys we can't know say it on here. Oh, we'll yeah, talk about it later. Oh, yeah, I can. You want me to say it? No. Why not? Be a good boy. Why? I say... I you want me to give you the, the clean version of it? You're a bad boy. Now. I say... <laughs> oh, well, it's off shit. I say... The girls that I... F word could fill up an entire book and then I murder more kids in their mouths than oh, my God. oh you got it you got it oh that's bad right Tommy didn't get it I did no yeah. oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah whisper to me write it down on this it's piece all of juice paper. man write it down on this piece of paper what, <laughs> what was the rhyming words I'm not saying murder that. more get kids in their mouths than yeah <laughs> That's bad. You think that's bad? It, that pushed the envelope yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Do you guys want me to make a theme song for real in the face? I I think. Oh boy, no, please. Oh, you have to give me the uh, your boy that did the, the, yeah. the halftime. Killed it like Bruno Mars did. My boy is good. He's good. You got to give me his information. Yeah, I'll hook I wanna, you up. I want to work it. with him. He's good. Uh, <laughs> home monitor is like pacing over there, like in a and like she's standing still, but I could see her, her mind is pacing, like going crazy. <laughs> it's a good line. Yeah. It's very lyrical. It, it is. It's strong. And it's, it's a I'll play on you. words. It's, it's a stronghold play on words. <laughs> <laughs> it's something nobody really. Well, I hope looks my grandfather's at. not listening right now. Wow, man. Well, if he that's is. the only thing that keeps me somewhat in check. But by saying that, He's not really. Cause my grandfather the... is the one who got this personality from. He's going to smack the shit out of you with his cane. Oh, he could. He's, he's a cop. <laughs> he doesn't have a cane. <laughs> he doesn't, you know, have to. He, first of all, even if he did have a cane, he'd probably kick my ass anyway. Can we, can we steer yeah. back to wrestling? I think We yeah, were. I, think I was so. segueing from my grandfather being a cop to how sad I am about the big boss man still not being here today. But don't worry. There's a bunch of replica big boss men's out there. Tommy's looking at me like, don't say it. Don't say it. Well, get your own gimmick. <laughs> oh, come Ooh, on. I'm dead, I don't know. <laughs> come on, man. Hey, controversy creates cash, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> right? No? Right. Yeah, she's it does, man. She's taking a photo of me. I don't or... know what she's doing. She, she is... She's taking a picture of you, and she's writing I'm her ass. man crush Monday. She's <laughs> writing <laughs> bad Sean, words. Sean, you've been awful quiet. What's going on, bro? <laughs> yeah, man, come on. I'm, I'm just... You don't want Gail Clinton to sit on your face? No, I'm the happily married man. I don't care. What do you mean you don't be care? Be straight up honest. Straight I'm straight up, up honest. honest. I'm a happily married man. What, are you gay? No, I'm not gay. Is it a front? Is the marriage a front? No, it's not. It's, not <laughs> it's okay. It's We're not in 2014 okay. now. It's okay. It's not okay. 18 states. <laughs> possibly Virginia next because uh, they might overturn it. It's okay for them, but I'm, I'm a happily married man. So, what do you do for fun? He like, plays video games. Is Ikea like a good 
like fun time for you guys? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let's let's keep well, the let's, let's like picking out new wallpaper at like yo Home Depot. Is that like a, an amazing Saturday for you guys? <laughs> no. What is married? What is happily married? That's an oxymoron. How is that an oxymoron? Nobody's happily married. Says who? Says any? <laughs> says everybody who's single. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. And you know what? Those people that are single will be married in ten or fifteen years. Not me. Not I. That's not, that's not true. I've heard some names floating around of people who can nail you down smooth voice. Who? Uh-oh. Who? I, I'm sorry. I don't, Spit out the names. Gail, give, Gail Kim's standing right yeah, here. Yeah, right. She could not she nail me down. She says to you, I want to marry you. I'd say no. It's bullshit. Really? I say we can have some fun for the night. I'd say no. <laughs> really? Gail yes. Kim sitting right here right now. She got said, fake boobies. Said, I, said, <laughs> she has fake boobies. Said, I, so? Let's I don't like to, fake boobies. I don't either. Let's run to the old I'm a real boobie. I'm not going to settle for fake boobies. I like real boobies. I'm not a fake booby man. Yeah, I'm not. Are you kidding me, bro? I've worked in the wedding industry for 15 years. I'm not getting married. <laughs> Ever. Why? You've seen the same faces more than once? I have. He's you, like I've the party crasher. Yes, actually. I have. A couple He's of like times. the party crasher of the movie. I'm just, no. It's just, why do I want to be obligated? That is the worst feeling in the world, knowing you have to go do something. That's wow. a big commitment. It is. And why would I want to do that to myself? He's going to be a lonely man. I'm not going to be a lonely man. I'll be 70. He's not. This guy, has more be- this guy has more girls in his bed than Gene Simmons which and makes, Paul Stanley which, combined. Let's set this record straight. There's <laughs> nothing wrong with being gay, but some guys in the SWA locker room uh, and their girlfriends think I'm gay, hey, which yep. is weird because, I don't know, maybe because I'm not like white trashish and I like to take a shower and I like to be clean shaven and I like to do my hair. Uh, what are you saying? I got long hair and I'm I I'm just saying, beard. you know, it looks like you could possibly skip a shower every day. I don't know. That's messed up. You look grind, kind of grimy today right now, Sean. I'm just telling you the truth. I'm in sweatpants and a t-shirt. And you look kind of grimy. I'm just saying. Like, you're not kind of chilling. In, even when I rock sweatpants, though, I look good. You know? Like, there's the difference. I look good. I like looking good. I think if look anything, s- I'm metrosexual, which is cool. I like the way I look. I want to look good at all times. What's so wrong with that? There's nothing so I'm not gay. And this is a wrestling show, ladies and gentlemen. It is. We were talking about Not the SWA locker show. room. We were talking about the SWA locker room. That's the wrestling thing. I'm a wrestler, right? And this is the kind of knock that I get because, but they say that because they never see me with a woman because I don't have to, like, you know, go out there and, like, flamboyantly show it right live and shove it down your face. Thoughts on that? You, girl, you guys have never seen me with a girl. No. You've seen the photos and videos. Well, Sean has at least. <laughs> but, you know, it's not cheating. You didn't do it. You just saw them. You, would you like to see some of these, Tommy? <laughs> oh, I've seen some pictures okay. on for if you follow Okay, yeah. 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 But it's uh, all believable. Yeah, so I just I don't want to be obligated. What is so wrong with that? Well, half of the uh, SWA locker room is... Uh, yeah. Is Have you looked at half the SWA locker rooms? I try not to. Girlfriends? I Try not to. Oh, boy. Can we I just get to wrestling? Try not to. I'm just saying. I'm just I, I, I do this. I, hey, 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 you know? went back to wrestling. You said go I, back to wrestling. Can we pull, I, this, can we pull I, this out of the fire? You know you how the horse... Back to wrestling. I you know it. how the racing horse has the shutters on the yeah, side? So that's what it is. So I just... That's all I do. Yeah. I, I worry about what You're I got to... You're the worst liar in the world. Yeah. <laughs> this one over here, I'm happily married. This one over here, I don't look at other girls. I am happily Oh, I do. I do. I admit it. My wife doesn't care as long as I don't touch. You're a real liar. What? No. She don't. Hold my. As long as I don't touch. She sent me an ass of women. That's I got a picture cool. she sent me the other day, man. I don't need to see that. Uh, I don't no. want to see I don't want to see the kind of women that you're checking out, Tommy. I'll no sh- no knock on you, old monitor. Uh, it, trust me, she, what she sends me is pretty interesting. They're going to look like Metallica fans. Look at that. That's what they call in comedy a callback. <laughs> Those are cool. So one of them is definitely Asian, if not all of them. <laughs> uh, you can just tell by the skin complexion and the hair. <laughs> I'm just saying, I know my Asians. But, it's yeah. my specialty. Trust me. That's why I, I love Asian wrestling. Not really. Yeah, uh-huh. I'm not, sure. I'm not into that strong style shit. But straight up, man, I do what I got to do in, in the locker room. I'm not going to... I don't look at their women because their women uh, not there. That's what I'm saying. No. I've met some attractive women that were taken by some of the wrestlers, and some of them are like mind boggling. It's like, huh? How'd you do that? You're an ugly dude. She's very attractive. How did you do that? You must have a magic penis. <laughs> oh my God. It grows. Just saying. Wrestling. 
That's no, <laughs> it's not always about. We are talking about wrestling. Just a different type of wrestling right now, Sean. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Anybody want to call in? No. It's called bed slamming. <laughs> Somebody call in. Papa Ganoush. Papa Ganoush. I want you to call in because I think you're a faggot. Call in. <laughs> Maybe that'll get him to call in. He probably won't call in because he's. Uh, I think his last time he called in, we were like, "Get get out of here." He was also an MIA at uh, Stronghold on the 18th. Well, then fuck you, Papa Ganoush. <laughs> yeah. You so uh, douchebag. He was supposed to be in the uh, Battle Royale. He didn't show up. So. You know who else no showed? Bobby Blue Jay. Bobby Blue Jay. What a fag. Don't worry about it. I, 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 I say that word, and I don't mean, oh, I'm knocking you for your sexuality. I don't really care what your sexual orientation is. I just like the word because it's a funny word. I, I, my, it's one of my favorite words. You want to know what my all-time favorite word is? <laughs> oh. Sure. You're definitely going to have to mark this as explicit, Sean. I, I'm going to start calling it Bobby Blue Jay, you're a cunt. Oh, no. Hey, hey <laughs> you <laughs> said, sure. Mrs. Abernathy's teeth just fell out of her mouth. Yeah, it fell yeah. to the floor. And Who is Mrs. Abernathy? That's, uh, the, what's his name? That guy, the the, the money mark, uh, Octane's uh, oh. number one fan. Oh, yeah. Octane, who got to be in SWI. Yeah. I don't understand that. Yeah. He, I would he like paid. to have Jerry... Yeah, you know, I know he's not listening because he told me he doesn't listen to the show anymore. Uh, but I'd like to have him come in, maybe on one of the shooting galleries, because I'd like to pick his brain on sometimes his booking decisions, as far as like not like who's going against who, but just who's he bringing into the company. And speaking of the shooting galleries, I'm trying hard. To <laughs> I was see, look, I just bet it to you right now. What is going to be the next shooting gallery? Oh, subject? we have to pick a topic. And when is topic? it going to be? Well, you figure once a month, right, or every so often. So, you fig- well, February is weird because we, we you know, it's, sh- it's a short month. It's only short by two days. Yeah, but, well, or three, <laughs> or three. Um, God damn, Gail Kim is so hot. <laughs> uh, well, let's see. It, we could do it the twenty sixth, if you'd like. That's three weeks from today. Because next week is NYWC, and then the week after that is uh, probably recapping all the action that took place over the weekend. <coughs> and then we could always do the 26th. Do we, does anybody have an idea for a topic? Tommy? Sean picked the topic last time, which is the state of independent wrestling. So would you like to bring up a topic? And maybe me and Sean live here on the air, which you can call in and pitch ideas. Would you like to talk about something? 631-386-8229. Keep on going. Uh, six three one three eight six eight two two nine. Okay, so Tommy, Facebook? do you have any ideas? I I don't even know. You know what? I think it should just be a shoot show straight on because but, we did all these categories. Remember? Yeah, we did I promote. Was, I, but I think yes, the format we was did. Good. I think it was good. So but you know what? Let's take. I would say let's take one thing in there, and pull it out of that, and make that one of the topics, and strictly just the topic. And I would put that as reference. Why don't we? Talk about wrestling's worst. Wrestling's worst what? Anything. Matches, workers, referees, oh. um, gear. I was going to say that. Everything. Everything and anything. From the wrestlers themselves. Yeah, everybody, anybody calls in. That's it. Shows up. All right, well... Let's try to get a panel in here. Let's time. not learn our lesson from the awards <laughs> and just shit on everything. That's it. Yeah. Why not? How do you think about it? Have all the fans call in and Twitter. Well, we can talk about wrestling's best. No, you it, could shoot we the could other do way. That another you one. could shoot the other day. Or other way, I should say. Yeah, well, we could do that another time. Uh, because you know what? You go the worst to the best. It don't matter. Sean, did you want to break any other news? Did I have news to break? I don't know. Did you? Do you? I think I pretty much covered it. You sure? Yeah. Isn't that a, another tomorrow special thing that's going Tomorrow you're taking a shower. That what? you just got Tomorrow confirmed? you're taking yeah. a shower. You're taking a shower. It's a full moon tomorrow. Take yeah. a shower. <laughs> How did I get tossed into this crap? Because you dress like crap. And your hair looks Tommy, long you're not, and not much far away. So. What? My shirt is nice yeah. and clean. We, yeah, your shirt it's is. Good. What are them titties underneath that shirt? Listen, I'm going back into the gym come March 1st. Oh. And my personal trainer is going to be Gary Reno. Oh. Okay. Listen, oh. I'm not right. going back into the gym because I don't have to. I but I'm going to definitely take you shopping, bro. You don't have to Because your me shit anywhere. is ragged. You don't have to take me anywhere. I, I got a nice shirt on. Oh, look look, look right. at Tommy's black Levi jeans. Yeah, come on now. 
And it's all good. They were popular too when he was in fourth grade. Skull. Oh, it's got a skull on it. Got to be a Metallica fan. <laughs> it's got a skull on rock. Nothing says rock and roll like skulls. Uh, well, Stronghold is nothing but skulls. Yeah, no, that drives it's me nuts. It's a dark side. It drives me nuts. Why? Because skulls are just so up. Fucking played. No offense. I just don't like That them. logo was designed by a genius, trust me. Well, I'm not saying, you know. I think it's awesome. And even Bruno it. Mars, the genius that he is, is going to have a dud every so often. It happens. <laughs> no, you know? no. Not saying the design is terrible. I'm just saying I hate skulls. Why? Because it's just overdone. You want to catch my attention? Put a unicorn in that bitch. <laughs> See if you, I don't if you know, I do not do a double take and say, what the hell? Is that a unicorn? Holy shit, what is this? Is this gay wrestling? Let me go find out. <laughs> no, not no. All like, right. I think Stronghold we need to put this for episode its, out of its misery. For its first wow. show. What was the name of the time episode? For its first show, we had 215 okay. people. Not because of the skull. No. Yes, it was. No, it was not because yes, of the it skull. Was. This it was. It's not a secret society. You know what? All you people that like skulls that were at Stronghold January 18th, right. let me know. We're going to make a poll tomorrow. We're going to post a poll. Are skulls. Out. In or out? Yeah, or, or skulls, fashion wise, in or out. We're gonna. That's, that's right. So now we're posting fashion questions on Yeah, because if you want to think I'm gay, I might as well be gay. I'll be the best gay gimmick you have ever seen. Let Uh-oh. me tell you. We, we. Hey, you shut up. Is the name of the episode Gail Kim sit on my face? <laughs> if it's not, then shut up. <laughs> All right. I... What was the name of the episode? I don't even remember. I don't know. <laughs> I know this is far fetched, man. Questions, answers, and general crap. This is just crazy. Right, this is what we should shoot on. We need Dan. I think we. Sh- I think next. <laughs> I think the next shooting gallery. We should just all take turns shooting on each other. Well, everybody will get a forty-five minute segment to shoot. Whoa, that's long, dude. You get, well, you get forty-five minutes, so you figure it's like or forty minutes. You know give you forty think? minutes. You get twenty minutes to shoot on Sean, twenty minutes to shoot on me. And then oh. Sean's got twenty minutes to shoot on you, twenty minutes to shoot on me. You know what I think? Nothing says shoot and I love you like a good old-fashioned roast. No, no, no. Not unless that roast is why Gail Kim is not sitting on my face. <laughs> I think we you should. Do a roast. Because we, we haven't we done should, one. We did do one. Yeah, but we haven't done one in a while. Who do you want to roast? Oh. We might have to push this back out of February and into March. Oh, uh, who do we want to roast? Who are you, should we leave it up to the public? Yes, let's let's leave I think it up you got to another the fans. Poll to put out. There we go. We got two polls. We're Skulls pick, are out, and who are we roasting? Yep. We're gonna pick four people right after we go off the air in about two minutes. We're gonna pick four people, and we're gonna put a poll up, and you fans are gonna vote. Yep. And we're gonna Definitely. throw it together in two weeks. This ought to be, or in three weeks. This ought to be exciting. No, no, no. Yep. That's what I'm saying. Maybe we should push it back into March. And you know what? I got Maybe something. We'll, you know know we still have to Hold contact on. the person, get them down here, you know what? Go by their schedule. I, I got something that could be even interesting. We'll bring this into April 5th. If you want, we could do the roast during intermission. We're not going to do the roast during That's intermission. too far away, and I'm not going to yeah. be there. Oh, never mind. Jerk. This is my chance to get him to sit on my face. Second week of March. There you go. Can you get me an autograph mail, just but have her rubber butt on it <laughs> or something oh, like that? Oh, Second man. week of March. Polls goes up tomorrow. The show's closing. We're putting it out of its misery. <laughs> All right. Episode. Yes, we are. We got to. For Tommy C. The Face. Yep. For the Smooth Boy Sith, Ryan Perry, slash ATL, slash yeah, Trilty slash whoever you want to call him. I wanna make yep. babies I'm with you. I'm the goddamn God villain, chill, and I still brother. don't understand what the whole thing is about. <laughs> Hall Monitor, please, for the love of all that is holy, take us out. Cinema. Worship.